Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Fauzi bin Mat Hairi. Today, we would like to share about left turn and hadron. During 19th and 20th centuries, physicists began to probe deep into the nature of matter and energy. In so doing, they quickly realized that rules which govern them become increasingly blurry the deeper one goes, whereas the predominant theory used to be all matter was made up of invisible atoms and scientists began to realize that atoms are themselves composed of even small particles. From this investigation, the standard model of elementary particle physics was born. According to this model, all matter in the universe is composed of two kinds of particles where hadron are composed of other elementary particles such as quark, antiquark, and etc. when leptons are elementary particles that exist on their own. So, what is lepton? It is uncang tekotel ipton. The word leptons comes from the Greek leptos which means small, fine, and thin. Leptons are said to be elementary particle, that is, they do not appear to be a matter of smaller units of matter. So now, I would like to share you the types of lepton. There are six lepton, which are electron, muon, and tau, and they have a charge. The other leptons are the three types of neutrino, which are electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tau neutrinos, and they have no electrical charge. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Pala Aidi Ben Zana Abidin and I will explain to you about properties of leptons. Okay, so the first one is leptons are particles and antiparticles that cannot experience strong nuclear force. For example, nucleus are made from protons and neutrons. So, protons and neutrons will have a very strong nuclear force, hence, they cannot be let there. Okay, now we move on to the second properties of lepton, which is all leptons are able to fill with nuclear and gravitational force. For example, we are going to take a look at electron and antineutrino. We have known that both electron and antineutrino are involved in beta decay. What is beta decay? Beta decay is a, when a proton or neutron changes within a nucleus. Since they are part of beta decay, we can conclude that electron and antineutrino both at, are able to feel weak nuclear force. Okay, how about gravitational force? The truth is, they both also experience gravitational force, which is why they are classified as leptons. Both electron and antineutrino express the gravitational force and because of that, they are attracted to other particles. Number 3. All leptons that have a charge will also be able to feel the electromagnetic force. For example, an interaction between proton and electron will attract each other. This is simply because of the presence of electromagnetic force. In conclusion, this shows that electrons, which is lactans, are able to experience the electromagnetic force because of it is charged. Last but not least, lactans are something called fundamental particles. Fundamental particles means that lactans cannot be broken up into smaller particles. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you. Hi guys. Let's talk about hadron. So what is hadron? Hadron is defined as a subatomic particle made of quarks, muon, and antiquarks. Hadrons come from a Greek word hadros, which means stout or thick. The term hadron was introduced by the Russian scientist Darius Lev-Wiokun in a plenary talk at the 1962 International Conference on High Energy Physics. Hadrons compose of two or more quarks that are held strongly by the electromagnetic force. Hadrons under the first arrangement are known as baryon and those under the second arrangement are called mesons. So, the, fam the most famous example of hadron is proton. So, 
What is the properties of hadron? The properties of hadrons are determined by their valence quark. First, they carry no net color charge even though the quarks carry a color charge. Second, hadrons must have zero total color charge because the phenomenon called color confinement. And third, hadrons must be colorless or white. Next, hadrons are the heaviest particle according to the classification of particle. These particles are subject to strong nuclear force. The example of hadrons are kion, proton, neutron, antiproton, and antineutron. So, is there any type of hadron? Yes, hadrons are divided into two categories depending on their quarks. The first type of hadrons is baryon. It is made up of three colored quarks and the second type of hadrons is meson. It is made up of one quark and one antiquark. What is meson? Ha! Masons are a member of family subatomic particle composed of quark and antiquark. Masons are hadron containing an even number of valence quark. Masons are predicted theoretically in 1935 by the Japanese physicist that is Yukawa Hideki. The existence of masons was confirmed in 1947 by the English physicist Cecil Frank Powell with the discovery of pi masons or pion in cosmic ray particle interaction. All masons also unstable with lifetime ranging from 10 to the power of 8 seconds to less than 10 to the power of negative 22 seconds. They are also very widely in mass from 140 mega electron volt to nearly 10 giga electron volt. Masons serve as useful tools for studying the properties and interaction of quarks. Hello guys, I will talk about baryons. Baryons is a type of composite subatomic particle which contain three quarks. Baryons belong to the hadron family and classified as a fermions. The example of this class of particle is a proton and neutron. Each baryon also has a corresponding antiparticle such as antiproton and antineutron. So, what is the properties of baryons? Firstly, the charge. We see that different hadron has a different charge. This is because each quark has a characteristic charge. For example, up quark carry a relative charge of 2 third, and down quark carry a relative charge of minus 1 third. By adding all of the combination of quark, we can get the overall charge of the particle. As example, the proton. The quark composition of proton is made of 2 up quark and 1 down quark. So the charge of the proton is equal to 2 third plus 2 third minus 1 third. So the overall charge of the proton is plus 1. Another example of baryon is positive sigma particle. The quark composition is 2 up quark and 1 strange quark. The strange quark has a, the charge of minus 1 third just like a down quark. So the charge of sigma is 2 third plus 2 third minus 1 third that equal to plus 1. Second, the mean life and mass. All baryons other than nucleons decay with mean life of less than 10 the power of negative 9 seconds in a very tedious. Be and because the proton is the lightest baryon, this tells us that protons are the most stable. Because of that, all baryons will eventually going to decay to proton. As example of variant is omega. When the omega decay, it undergoes beta decay and it final result will produce proton along with two electrons, two proton and four neutrinos. This means that variant all have a mass greater than or equal to the mass of the proton. Third, strangeness and spin. Strange quark has a strangeness number equal to negative one. Up and down quark and anti quark simply have a strangeness of zero. This means that have no strangeness. As example, as example, omega has three strange quarks. Thus, the strangeness of omega is equal to negative three. Each baryon has a odd half integer spin, such as one over two or three over two, where spin refer to the angular momentum quantum number. First. We can conclude that hadron are the heaviest particle while lepton are the lightest particle according to the classification of particle. Second, hadron are subjected to the strong nuclear forces while lepton are subjected to weak nuclear forces.